Well, hello again, everyone. Nick, Mike, Lack, and Trent Zuberi. Hey, everybody. Joining me to uh, do a commentary for Ghostbusters 2. So, guys, if you have a copy of the film itself, uh, go ahead and sync up the film with the timestamp to zero. And press play in three, two, one, play. And another Columbia Pictures. Yes. Really? 1989. The Big Summer. Batman and Lethal Weapon 2, which Steve and I did commentary for, and uh, Annie Jones' The Last Crusade, and tons and tons of stuff. Five years later. Here we go. So let you know, it's been five years. You know, we got, we got some time passed, some shit's gone down. Yeah. I did see this in the theater. Yeah, I did too. I like this. 1989, yeah. I did see it in the theater also. Yeah. It's a nice light opening. Yeah. <laughs> just, just really building the New York up there. You yeah. Know? But, yeah, just setting the stage right from the game about the uh, whole yeah. thing that the, the the animosity in the city. That's right. Building up this goo under the city. Which again is it, it, it shows off a, a bit of a hyper realized oh, New yeah. York, you know. It's stereotypical in the sort of way. It's still throwing the fit over the ticket back there. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you get to that point where you just start watching the background after you know so much of the movie. I like that it legit is five years later as well. Yeah. You know, like they, they kept it in real time. Yeah. She's like, oh, gee, I thought I was over all this garbage again. <laughs> Kids just, uh... Whoa. <laughs> I'm guessing remote control carriage here. I would imagine so. I can't imagine what else they could have done. Yeah, he's honking at a carriage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeez, it's just chaotic. <laughs> this kid is just like, what the hell is that? I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's some Big set piece there. Oh my god. What an open another good Those opening. Stunt man. drivers. Great open. <laughs> Scares the crap out of you. Yeah. I love the stunt the song comes in. Yeah. And the two. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty car. Even the even the siren just yeah. sounds like beat to hell. Yeah. It's a smoke in. Just, <laughs> yeah, just billowing out. You, they, you already know that the business has taken a hit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like they basically they basically put themselves out of business, right? We're cleaning everything up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one stage. There's you know. one concentrated uh, issue of supernatural parapsychology, yep. energy blowing up the city, and that was it. God, that could act the one scene in way better days. Oh, look at the windows. What's left of them? Oh God. She was in Die Hard. She was. That's right. In the Lethal Weapon, she's a. Psychologist in the yeah. Lethal Weapon films. Winston looks so different as we know. Mustache. Oh yeah. He puffed his hair up a little bit. Because I, I, because that's how they had Winston in the cartoon series, so they had to change his look to adapt to what yeah. the fan base had become accustomed to by that point. This is Ivor Reitman's son. Who yeah. I yeah. <laughs> that jerk. Oof. Eh, song. Get the boombox. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that in the universe the song exists as yeah. well. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The, <laughs> the song exists in the universe. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was weird because He-Man in '89 was already pretty much a dead. Well, '87 oh, Masters of the Universe movie came out and it bombed. Yeah. This not, should have been Ninja Turtles at this exactly. point. Exactly. Like, why? Why wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, maybe because the Ninja Turtles was, a, was about to be a new line feature a year yeah, after that. Maybe. You know? That's probably why. I, I don't know. So what, what would have been? I can't. I was know. He was well, filmation, right? Yeah. Another do with yeah. Columbia. Was Colum did Columbia yeah. own filmation? No, no. Well, I mean, I just couldn't get the He Man right. Even I was on. Yeah, I don't know why point. they chose He Man. 
again, 87 movie bombed because he may have gone out of fashion by that time. So this is you know, there's two your years later. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wish they explained why they got sued, though. Like, they saved everything. What did they get sued for? See, that, that that's kind of a contentious thing with this film, that it kind of hits a reset button and everything. You got to yeah. put all the characters back to zero from where they were in the first film to have them build themselves back up to the point where they're revered again and everything. So well, it's yeah. like, it, it, it's kind of cheap uh, storytelling. It, it was view. cheap, and that's why two never gets the credit, the respect that, you know, it maybe should have, because it, it was just a... It was such a cheap, like, I mean, it, money it, grab. <laughs> it it would have worked. I mean, obviously, they, they filtered it into all the other political stuff later on in the film with yeah. Kurt Fuller's character, but it could have just said, like, all the paranormal activity dried, dried up, up and there was no business that, left. That would have been perfect because they, they wiped out the main source, yeah, right? That would have worked just as well and would have kept them kept kept away from that type of thing. It would have been perfect. It would have like, made sense. Getting, getting sued didn't make any sense to me. It's like. No. The mayor backed all your actions, yeah. right? Like the mayor was like, "Here, whatever you need, I'm backing it, you." It makes it seem like, at the end, as soon as the ant film ended, they did a 180 degree turn and went with Walter Peck's character and believed everything he said. Yeah, yeah. In reverse, exactly. I'd love, I'd love to hear. It makes no sense. I wish Ramus would have explained, like, what was this logic behind that storyline? Yeah, it it doesn't hold water. It does a lot. A lot of it's a lot of in this movie is a lot of just cheap pops, you know, just to, yeah, or cheap, uh, cheap segues and yeah. storyline. It, it didn't have much to it. Uh, I mean, it didn't bomb, but it's another reason it's not held in any regard close no. to the first one. And I think, I and honestly, had this one been better, I think we would have had better odds of a part three. Yeah, because I mean, all the while Murray really didn't want to do a sequel, and they just had trouble getting a script together. I, what they should have done is that remake, That's why it took five years. That 2016 one should have been a part three where they handed it off. Like A lot of people have said that, yeah. It would have been great if they would have said, okay, you know what, hey, we cleaned it up already. There's not much going on. We're too old to do this. You girls want this? Here. They, like Just a quick opening where they sign over yeah. the right, the trademark or something. Because it, it's so weird because they had uh, Ernie Hudson and Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd all cameo in that film yeah. but they're not playing their Ghostbusters characters that's, that's what I didn't get and even they Sigourney Weaver and they only abandoned movie. three after uh, uh, Harold Ramis passed so yeah there's, a, there's it, a, it, it's it doesn't make any bad sense bad choices they should have just, just went with a handoff kind of thing even if uh, it was one of them I mean they could they could have just had Aykroyd or Ray Stan show up at yeah. the beginning of the thing and just have them pass that off a little better. Like we got some, you, like know, you that, don't have to have that direct presence because it would have been fun to do that where like he's like, all right, sign over the trademark like here, and yeah. he's like, here's a key to our or story maybe, lock or maybe something. Sound like one, one, one of the new characters is like a student of his or something like something that. Something where something, it connected a, a slight it. connection somewhere that could carry that on, but not make it so much. Yeah feature the old characters so much that you have to have them take over the film at some point. Yeah. Now, Milton here, I've seen in several movies. Oh, uh, yeah. He, this, he's a Chicago actor, I believe. Yeah, I think so. I, I remember from, like, an episode of Seinfeld. He, he's all over the place. He's oh, yeah, he actor. is in Seinfeld. He's great. Yeah. He's, 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 a, he's a great, great actor. I love yeah. him. Look at that jacket on Bill Murray. <laughs> Sales Whoa. point of your book's just coming out. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good because like Vegman knows he's a con man oh, himself yeah, of course so he just expects everyone on his show to be a con man because he has no credibility worth the crap why no, exactly. they want a legitimate well, you know, he knows show. the show is a con the whole thing is <laughs> it's a joke. Full of crap you know yeah. the, whole, the whole scenario is garbage <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's so serious, so into it, you know. Just... <laughs> and then she's great. Yeah, she is great. I've seen her in something too. Mm. Hey, twenty sixteen. We survived it. Yeah, we sure did. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> 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 from an, this, this, sound, this sounds like an Ackroyd's dialogue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paramus Holiday Inn. 
the end of the world is gonna happen because I saw it from an alien who <laughs> abducted me from <laughs> from, from pyramids. That's the shit Ackroyd goes on about all the time. Yeah, exactly. With his ooh, his skull whiskey or whatnot, <laughs> doing whatever like he's got going on. Yeah. He's looking. He's, uh, the look to the camera right there. Right? <laughs> like, what am I doing? Oh boy. He's like, well. <laughs> <laughs> Star <Man>, ET <laughs> Star Man, I love this. <laughs> like the uh skinless cat hairless cats. Hairless cats. But then, uh, I mean, you can tell Peter Rickman saying, "Yeah." But you can just tell by all this, the whole show's a whole sham. Oh yeah, it's all bullshit. <laughs> Where do you find these people? <laughs> I am a I fraud. Am a fraud. <laughs> there you go. Well, the lady just looks at him all like right. he doesn't know. Him. <laughs> Oh, Kurt Fuller from No Holds Barred. Oh, yeah. Same year. Dookie. He had a good year that year. <laughs> Kurt Fuller is such a prick. <laughs> yeah. But that's his job. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Kurt Fuller's out for his own career. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there we there, go there's the painting the iconic Vigo the Carpathian for a while I wanted to buy that poster oh. and frame it and put it in my house somewhere but I was like I kind of don't want it looking at me either <laughs> it's kind of creepy it is a creepy one to, to have I mean it is you staring a hole you, through you the Colonel Sanders looking guy in the back look at that guy <laughs> over to the left the bow tie there yeah go. Did he already walk by and say everything you're doing is bad? Oh, I think so. That already happened. He, he's, he's fantastic. Yeah, is just fantastic. Uh, Peter McNeil is uh, absolutely brilliant in this film. He's great. I quote his lines all the time. Oh yeah, <laughs> command me, Lord. And my favorite. <laughs> Why is, am I dripping with goo? <laughs> Why am I dripping with goo? <laughs> and then uh, I love uh, I love yeah. My favorite is like. Everything you're doing is bad. <laughs> I want you to know this. <laughs> Where are you from? The Upper Vest Side. Yeah. Where the hell are you from? Anyway? <laughs> he's got all. He, he's such a breath of fresh air. Yeah. This whole thing is like. He's a the, goofy character, though. The fact that I mean, he, he's a straight American actor. Oh, one yeah, yeah, puts oh, on yeah. the whole spiel here, man. He's so into it. <laughs> he's trying. Everybody's always hitting yeah. on Dana. Yeah. He's trying, well, he's hitting on her hard, like... Who, who wouldn't want to? Rain check. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> it's a little sun yeah. here. And, all right, it sets you up there. Something's yeah. up. Yeah. Raise a cult. <laughs> right on St. Mark's. I know exactly where that's where they well, placed that. Re, okay. Yeah, it's called St. Mark's Place. Okay. Really cool little little strip there. That's that's somebody who may, was making a cameo there. He may, he is, yeah, you'd think so. Yeah. And Ray's guy's a cult bookstore, <laughs> smoking a pipe. <laughs> I actually had that same coat. My dad had it, oh. and he bought it in the same year. That same, and I he ended up passing it down to me. That same <laughs> exact coat that Vinklin's wearing. <laughs> How school. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to do this. Oh, yeah. But she has the fortune and power. I like that they still show them their friends. You know, they're all yeah. they're all still like connected. Yeah. <laughs> like they all ended up doing something. You know, yeah. like. What is he Winston's doing? What else is Winston doing? Yeah, like what what is Winston's like full time job? Oh. He gets left off a little bit. Yeah. 
Like when they mentioned the ghost, he's never. I, I was looked at him as. I mean, yeah. I mean, he doesn't even join the story really until after they really come back in. I mean, they're not. He's barely involved with anything up until that point. Yeah. Again, it's a shame because I mean, Ernie Hudson is such a good fucking actor, and he works the works the character so well. Yeah. I mean, the movie. He doesn't get as much to work with in the dynamics of the cast. In the um, in the cartoon, I mean, it's all equal out four yeah. four guys. That's how I always looked at him. But in here, I mean, it yeah. was meant to be that there were three and he just happened to join. Yeah. He was like the hired gun. Yeah. I can't tell if she's doing the art full time or the music still or what she, what <laughs> Yeah, doing. she's very multicultural. Yeah. Like, she was with the Metropolitan Opera or whatnot yeah. and playing cello. Now she's in the Museum of Natural History or whatnot. Yeah. There she goes. <laughs> Same coat. I had the exact same. Hello, Dana. <laughs> Still got a hell of a nice apartment, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. From New York. It's awesome. There's the baby. Oscar. Named after a hot dog. You poor, poor man. <laughs> poor, poor man. <laughs> I think the, the kids... Something happened to the actors who played the, the twins who played the kids. Yeah, something. Did they die or like, they got really bad into drugs or something? Something, yeah. Let me check something here. You know, the, the accuracy test, you know, snapping fingers in front of them. <laughs> Trying to impress Dana with his childish ways. On a chimp. <laughs> The two kids, yeah. the kids who played the, the the babies, are nephews of John Denver. Really? Yeah. Yeah, their last name D Dusseldorf or something. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Dusseldorf. Yeah, that's John Denver's real last name. Okay, yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, Denver obviously is a much more marketable name. The kid's cute. Yeah. Okay. He has no idea what's going on. This little baby, like, what in the hell? Okay. Yeah, because uh. Apparently, one of them, Henry, he did. He struggled with mental illness and committed suicide yeah, last one of them, year. Yeah, that's right. One of them did die. Yeah. So they, they tell you the history here. Like you, she yeah. never, you never asked me to marry you. Whenever I brought up, you kind of played it off, and now he's regretting it. Like whenever he tries to be serious, it still comes off as goofy. Yeah. So I let you. He, you know, like his win says, he knows he screwed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? So, yeah, of now, now it's kind of a now it's kind of a throwback to part one. He had to get the uh, the goop the goop specimen yeah. in the beginning. <laughs> the ectoplasm. Every kid had that that stacker thing, the stacker toy, the Fisher oh. like the circle oh, yeah, stacker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every kid had that damn toy. <laughs> <laughs> Kid reached up for it. <laughs> Murray. <laughs> Playful guy. He is a big kid, the way he said. Yeah. Play with the big kid? <laughs> oh boy. This this one this one builds a little slower than the other one. Yeah, right? yeah. Kinda the pace isn't as fast. No. I realize Gak where he gained all that weight in this one. <laughs> he looked he definitely got heavier for this one. Yeah. Yeah, this, this one this one starts off I mean, because I had to give this this backstory of him and Dana yeah. and set up the, the drama there yeah. and all that. Yeah. But uh Yeah, they're definitely letting you know. He's <laughs> he's ugly. That <laughs> <laughs> elephant man ugly. Was his father ugly? <laughs> 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 Did I get smelly? 
Oscar. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> right, stop shaking the baby. Yeah. He's doing pretty good. <laughs> And puked up on his shoulder yeah, his yet. Mama's here to get his tools. But <laughs> There's some highly uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Who wouldn't? And there, so again, watching in '89, never got the joke. Yeah. Uh, Who wouldn't? He, you know, that's why he always, <laughs> since part one. He's always trying to impress Dana. He always right. is trying to be cool and like <laughs> impress her with something. <laughs> like sure on the beat. This is it. At the honey pot. <laughs> yeah, where does Gaga meter come from? Gaga meter. I have no yeah. idea. It was, it was like the they needed some new props. It was the industrial PKE meter. <laughs> this is a great scene. Yeah. It just starts setting up and putting a hole. <laughs> Me? <laughs> just, he does not look like a Why are you cutting? Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> fake, yeah, fake. Yeah, here we go. Who told you to stop cut? <laughs> Real blue collar guys. <laughs> Jerry make it downtown work on a Friday night, yeah. <laughs> Ziggy Ziggy. Yo. <laughs> 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 Just let him go. Like, it's like, <laughs> how are they so involved? Let these guys do their job. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, this is a fun one. <laughs> this is awesome. Who's it go down there? <laughs> I, I was just, it, it, it kind of bothered me that they didn't involve Winston in any of the, the no. prelim shenanigans. Yeah. Here. Like why not? Why wasn't he involved in all this stuff? I don't know. Like he was he was on par leaving like at the end yeah. of the last movie. It's like hey, yeah. you're one I of them. Still with Ray doing the the the, the 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 yeah the party stuff. I never caught him saying that. Stinging, I'm stinging. Well, <laughs> <laughs> now oh, go for it. I was gonna say, from what I understand, the actor who played him, yeah. It's not his voice that we're hearing. It's Max von Sydow. They had to overdub with Sydow's voice because yeah. the other guy's accent was so terrible or something, yeah. right? Now, one of them, I believe, was a wrestler. Was it Sydow or the original guy? No, was... Sydow's like from like Seven Seal and uh, Exorcist and everything. Okay, so but this actor here. Yeah, Wilhelm play... von Hamburg. Ha yeah, ha von Hamburg was actually a pro wrestler in Germany. Yeah. He was also in Die Hard and In the Mouth of Madness. He was in Die Hard? Yeah, he was. Oh, one, he was one, the, yeah. the big guy, yeah, we, right? we talked about him. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, apparently his... Uh, big, it, ugly dude. Yeah, apparently his, his uh, the ponytail. Vo voice acting was so bad. And, and they've recently released, yeah. well, not recently, but about 10 years, they've released his actual, like, verbiage. Yeah, like, what he, what he spoke. audio. Yeah, and it's terrible. I mean, oh. It sounds terrible. I can't... Yeah, it, it does have lines in, in the Mouth of Madness, and it's like... It's, he only, he's got a few lines, but yeah, he's got a th thicker German accent yeah, and everything. But, it, but his so. voice, his uh, look is or great. what have you. Whatever. Or, you know, probably, yeah, probably German if it's von ha Hamburg. But his, 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 his look is fantastic. Yeah. That's what that's what he's, you know, he's there for is the look. I mean, the, the fact they got Max von Sydow, this acclaimed actor and everything, to come yeah. in and just do a piece of voice acting is incredible. That's pretty good. Now, from what I understand... Um, New York City is full of a lot of these old abandoned <laughs> subway tunnels. Uh, there was a guy who put a video up recently about one that he discovered um, in New York at uh, that led up to like the library or something that mm. was an abandoned, an awesome abandoned tunnel. Uh. Um, which I think was this one. I forgot. They, they did something. They, there was one that they found. It was yeah. like, it looked just like this one. Old and it. Yeah, I mean, the, I keep thinking the tile work looks just like the uh, the lair from Ninja Turtles too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they found a bunch of the so this, they were showing some recent one with a guy uncovered. He was 
asking like some people around, like, hey, was this the spot where the actual entrance used to be? So they did something where they found yeah. an entrance and they walked to it. It was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, it just changes his entire drink. story in a, in a heartbeat. The phone lines are over there. <laughs> so he does tell him another one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> There's the eternal con man. <laughs> it's, 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 it's more or less just buying time for Ray, really. It it just it just sucks that like the damn uh the cop was so involved. Like what cops never pay attention to this crap. They just drive by. <laughs> they fear the guys with the city, he's doing his thing. Yeah. This is great. How the yeah. main the main grid line is like in this in this one <laughs> shaft. This abandoned shaft, yeah. It, it killed the whole city. <laughs> oh my god! Just seeing all the buildings one by one shut, <laughs> the entire city blacked yeah. out because of the Ghostbusters. One freaking, one freaking line <laughs> shut down. <laughs> oh, this blackness says he says. Yeah, Janus. I Janus. love her. Every time he comes around, like her look is like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's a bit like Lewis in the first film, a tad. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. He's <laughs> so good. You never know, you don't find out where he's from. He's definitely European. Yeah. How it is with you. <laughs> Yoo <-hoo. laughs> He's such a creep. Well, but I. <laughs> yeah, this like creepy look. You don't know. You don't need that. You want me to come? <laughs> yeah, in? He, he is a tad bit of a creep. You think you want me to lay it down for you <laughs> while I'm here? <laughs> a little stalkerish. <laughs> right? Poor guy, <laughs> possessed. You know, yeah. he doesn't know any better. <laughs> well, this is creepy. Yeah. Nice little thing out the the shadow on the back wall the Yeah comes oh, yeah. up when the eyes come up. A little cigarette ad on the side of the bus which you don't see nowadays anymore. No. The just judge is great. He's oh, a yeah. real he's a real son of a bitch. I recently yeah. saw on uh, I think it was an episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It took me a little while to see through the freaking alien makeup to realize it was him. Oh, was it him really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's Winston right there. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. Ernie Hudson looked great in in this movie. Yeah. Like he, he, his look got really good. Yeah. yeah. Tax law. Like oh, they got a tax lawyer. <laughs> we got arrested that night. It's like they can't afford anyone else but Lewis Tully. She just died. This uh, this uh, mm. the actor, the girl been lawyer. Mm. Mm, breast cancer. Yes. There you go. Yeah, they, they let you know at least what it is now. <laughs> the guys are pulling in from the back. Yeah. <laughs> but they pull, they pull, <laughs> what, it looks what, like what? a 40s gangster yeah. and a, a punk guy and yeah, everything. Like, what was that? Yeah, yeah, I almost looked like Zeus. Yeah. <laughs> He's a terrible lawyer. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Succinct but pointless. Very good. Short but pointless. <laughs> Mr. Oh. Fianella, the uh, con ed manager. <laughs> was like, what in the hell? Mr. Fianella's definitely, uh, he's definitely a New Yorker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Judicial restraining order. <laughs> That's interesting. They put that in. Yeah. There. They twist. They put that. In there. They have a restraining order from 
for doing their like their job. Yeah, from all the lawsuits. Mr. Fiano, we're looking at. <laughs> Ray's outburst here. <laughs> Shut up. This is great. He, I love, he starts yeah. leading him the whole time. He's feeding, like, him the, feeding him all the questions. He's just great. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the judge looks. The, the judge is like. He's a great actor. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he's just. Give me a break. We're both lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? No, you've helped out enough. <laughs> uh, Your witness. Yeah. 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 Rick Moranis is so good. Oh, he's yeah. He's so good. He's like that perfect twerp. Yeah. Like, like what do you have now? Like, guys like Michael Sarah, you know, they're, they're yeah. considered to be like the new... You know, awkward twerk. Like, no way. He's not yeah. anywhere near a par of Rick Moranis. I mean, dark helmet alone, man. Oh, that's, I'm telling you, Rick Moranis is fantastic. <laughs> She's the perfect, you know, yeah. city attorney. Like the DA, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can see her on Law and Order. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the like, nod. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're professionals. Kitten. I love how he calls kitten. her kitten and grabs her hand. <laughs> Sometimes she knows there's something to deal with. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I like the one guy looking at her. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> ah, they're all shit. Look at all the crap on the table with the encyclopedias. <laughs> You too, Mr. T like, why are those encyclopedias on the table? <laughs> well, they're probably law books. Guilty on all charges. Yeah. Oh, he was... Oh, I didn't, I didn't remember that. He, he sent us 18 months in the country. 18 months, and they got paid 25 grand apiece. Jesus. I like, I like the, the wind they throw in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> holy crap! Look at that thing go. It's definitely that was definitely <laughs> a boiler or something that got that thing on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nobody else noticing. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I love this. The, the, now the ghosts look kind of creepy. They didn't look realistic. That was a problem with this one too. Yeah, they, they're going a little bit more towards the cartoon. Yeah. Where. The Scolari brothers. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They went more towards the cartoon style yeah. of the ghost here. Like design and everything, yeah. Scolari and, brothers. <laughs> and uh, Industrial Light Magic did do the effects work on this film. They did? Yeah. I felt like the other guy was better. <laughs> yeah. There you go. But, like, yeah, the, you know, the cartoon was huge at this point. You yeah. Know, huge. But, like, at least the other ghosts, I mean, I guess some of the other ones in part one kind of looked a little goofy, too. This one, this one's very animated. Yeah. Talk to my attorney. Miss Strange. Miss Strange, man. That blue thing I got from her. <laughs> like I know, he's like, he has no idea what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> I think you remember in, in the trailer they didn't have the effects shot. She was just f flying up, levitating upside oh, really? down without the ghost. Your next bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Back in business coming up. Yeah. Oh. I do like the suit look. Where's Winston? Is he there? He was in the audience. Yeah, he's <laughs> suit up, man. Is he suited up? No, oh, he's wait, not in the scene wait, at all. Was he? he was just there. He showed up for two seconds and buggered off. I never got... Why did, Why was Winston... Excluded for so go. much of these scenes, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a dorky moment. This is so good. It's so great. 
Yeah, see, I don't get it. Winston should have been there. He was yeah. there for the damn case. Probably because it, they don't have the other pack there, I guess. Yeah, that too. They, should, they could have involved him had him been the one to throw yeah. the trap or something, yeah. right? You know? I saw they did this effect. They had like some kind of springboards uh. to pop those off or something. That's why they're only showing half the yeah. trick, because the other half's like popping it up or something mm-hmm. like that. But yeah, it, it, the design of them are a lot more exaggerated with the ghosts and everything yeah. here. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> this one is part's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Egon's <laughs> laugh is just so Egon like that. Ha ha ha! Like he's literally ha ha. <laughs> it's like he's never left before in his no. life. And <laughs> he got him. <laughs> got him. Eggy. <laughs> Eggy. Never Eggy, hear that one. He called, he called Vakeman Vanky earlier, too. That's weird. <laughs> it's got on wheels now. Yeah. <laughs> Just like old times. <laughs> Plenty of property damage to go with it. Baby slow. <laughs> <laughs> are the, the lawyer on the ground over there. She's, like, <laughs> she's out of it. Hell. Like, oh shit, I lost that one. <laughs> Jenny with her new look. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she's great. The voice is iconic. Uh, I think did she do the voice in the cartoon? I think I, she did. I don't know. I thought she did. Let me take a look. I know Ernie Hudson had kind of auditioned to do Winston on the cartoon, and they turned him down. Did they? <laughs> Which is odd. That is odd. Why? I don't know. Wait, he actually auditioned and they turned him down? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. No. It's kind of kind of strange. Yeah. Ghostbusters TV series ran from '86 to '91. Mm-hmm. The Jogger Ghost was great. He didn't, he didn't yeah. know he was, you know, he didn't realize what he was. Just by a guy got killed yeah. jogging. I think this was again. I think this was supposed to be like a longer sequence in the film, but they just trimmed it down for this. Yeah. Let's see. No, it was not not any pots doing the voice. The two different actresses. Mm-hmm. He is. <laughs> I love her. Who are you going to call? <laughs> yeah, the Arsenio Hall was Winston in the cartoon. That's weird. Yeah, that's right. I remember him ever seeing the. And then Dave Coulier was Venkman. Dave Coulier who was? was Joey from Full House. He was Venkman. Huh. That's great. Hmm. Dave Coulier. This was a weird one, the crystal. I, I heard this was supposed to be more... Yeah. Something about this scene was supposed it's, to be like... It was supposed to be more like uh, extended poltergeist type of scene. Yeah, but they just... They, yeah. like, like they had it use whatever yeah. they could. They didn't do much with it. Yeah, if you can't save the whole scene, keep the effects. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, might as well. <laughs> I so associate the dark gray uniforms with this film that when they're when we're in the original uniform yeah. it just seems weird in this film. I it don't does. know what it is. It does. Half yeah, right. Have we got him, man? <laughs> well, considering they were charging like four grand before. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. Four grand. The well, hotel. And then they tra- and then they trashed the hotel on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> this part's funny. <laughs> Just the, the anger test. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Nothing salty good. with scientific words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's all he can do. <laughs> like Cobra Rage is getting carried away. <laughs> These like the two geeks versus the two regular guys of the crew. <laughs> Wood slide. Wood slide. <laughs> oh, babe. And I got even angrier. <laughs> I'm seeing you talk to him. The toaster. No truth. <laughs> now sleep with her. He doesn't, he doesn't answer. The, the guilty look is great. <laughs> Oh, you. It's <laughs> the Kyle. <laughs> hey, he had his chance at Janine. He blew it. Uh-huh. This was this is such a silly... <laughs> so weird. The question I... I mean, did they, did they keep... Did they have the, the clubhouse? Was it there the whole time? They're like back in the clubhouse, like what? Like, like nothing happened, yeah. A lot, a lot of loose ends in the party. Yeah, yeah. A lot of loose ends. Like, did yeah. they, did it, you know, you would imagine they went into foreclosure, they lost the clubhouse. How'd they get it back so easily, yeah. you know? They're back and set up and stuff. <laughs> it, it's a little, I mean, look, you watch part two, now and it gets so damn silly. Yeah. Like they're showing that when it's there's positivity, it's all oh, it's happy. Yeah. And the toast. <laughs> Part two is pretty damn goofy. Yeah. Well, it's just kind of crap. It's not nearly as scary as the no. first film. I mean, it, it, it's very much a marketing piece, you know, for yeah. like the merchandising and. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. I love this part. <laughs> the old man ain't toasted. <laughs> <laughs> But like, yeah, it had like it, it was such a loose story. It's like it was in the middle of the cartoon series, yeah. right? The cartoon series is on at this point. Yeah, you can't you can't go too scary on this mm-hmm. because you, you got kids watching it. More yeah. kids watching this one now. I mean, if they made it about two years earlier, they might have got more freedom to do something yeah. totally different. <laughs> Bass masters. Bass masters. Good old bass masters. <laughs> <laughs> fishing for the longest time I can't think he said vision show when I was a kid like, vision show I didn't catch bad I'm like I thought kept saying pass masters I never, <laughs> not until later I found a bass masters <laughs> yeah I know bass masters <laughs> 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 that is a creepy portrait man yeah This is very reminiscent of him coming to visit her at the uh, mm-hmm. the, the opera house, yeah. wherever it was, the symphony. I mean, yeah, the, the film kind of follows the first film almost formulaically. In a way, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the the courthouse sequence is pretty much the hotel. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're right. It does have it a... It kind of templates it back from the first film. It, it, this movie was just a layup, man. It had to be... Uh, again, you had... It was a cash grab in the midst of the cartoon success. Yeah. So that the cartoon was high rate. <laughs> I didn't realize yeah. the, the odd handshake. <laughs> he swiped it off. But uh, it was in the midst of the cartoon success. Yeah. The merchandise was flying. Yeah. It's like, let's just go for the cash grab. Make it a dumb story with no... Because basically what the idea was the kids aren't going to care about the loose ends at this point. Yeah, yeah. The kids don't care about the story explanation. Yeah. But it was... <laughs> and again, they probably had a bit of trouble getting Murray to sign on for it, I'm sure. It was a little difficult, you know. Yeah. I wish you would have done the part three and we could at least had that to work with. Yeah. Well, I never played it, but a lot of people say, like, the, the video game they put out a couple years ago was, 100%. W- was a really good third part. I, I think I have it for, uh, I think, PS3. And I, I when I played it, I said, this this was part three. And it was mm-hmm. so... And I think the game was written by Ramus and... Yeah, and, Akron, and everyone contributed their voices to it as well. And it, it was perfect. It was the part three. Mm. You know, that, that and it would have been great. Yeah, if you if you would uh if you would play, you'd still see. I remember what thinking that I was like, man, this would have been great. Hmm. Yeah, it's always like Murray was just always so 
non-committal. It, it, it would kind of flip flop and kind of never be serious about. He got worse. One eh? thing or another. He got weird. Like he was pretty. Yeah. Kind of, like I think he plays off the weird gimmick now. Is what he yeah. does. But like he he got odd. You know, after like I'd say Groundhog Day almost, he got like started taking like some odd roles and yeah, like well it's stuff you didn't expect to see him. And he's still fa- yeah. fantastic. He's a phenomenal yeah. guy. But um, he just he got in some weird like his. He got more known for his antics, you know, afterwards. Yeah. That was a weird thing. Yeah, I don't know. It was, uh... Where, where is the character? I, I, I think he just, he just markets off the gimmick now that he... Yeah. He's like I mean, Groundhog wacko. Day was his peak, and then, like, after that, you can't really name too many films that were really, like... You know, Lost in Translation was yeah. an odd hit, you know, in a weird way. Yeah. And, other comedy stuff, just here, or there, or whatever, but nothing really. Nothing, nothing major. Nothing, nothing I'm like, major. No. Nothing, nothing like he had. A, he had a great cameo in it. it was it Zombieland or something? Yeah. And that's the one everybody thinks about. Oh, that, yeah. the cameo is incredible. That yeah, was cool, but it's like there's no Bill and Murray movies that really stand out like huge. Yeah. In, um, after that, yeah. In uh, you know, in the '90s and after or whatever, yeah. but. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I, 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 I he's more. I always associate him with the eighties. Yeah, eighties hit. You know, to me. Now, the, now her in the bra was an odd spot. If you think mm-hmm. about it. the whole movie's marketed to kids in a lot, a lot of ways. Yeah. You know, it's it's in with the kid crowd, but they they made yeah. a point to get that that shot mm-hmm. of her taking off the shirt into the bra, mm-hmm. which. I don't know. I mean, it keeps it. It keeps the adults hooked in. Maybe at I that guess. point, you know. The ultimate bachelor pad. I, was lo- <laughs> I love his apartment. Yeah, place. it's fantastic. It's just a dump. It's it's this odd loft. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, react to this poor little baby. That's where he had his jacket on when he answered the door. So well, he was what? sleeping with it. He just oh. passed out. You know? mm. I can relate. I'm living it. Living in a. <laughs> I do that a lot. I fall asleep fully clothed, jacket on. Sometimes <laughs> how come I'm so damn tired? And I'll just yeah. knock out. <laughs> That's fantastic. Got the, the slime all wired up and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like Coca Cola and yeah. water. Yeah, the placements are are on this one for sure. <laughs> I imagine there's gonna be more. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Now I get your little backstage mm-hmm. or back uh, backstory here. So. <laughs> oh. like HP old yeah. school HP. Is that Evian mm-hmm. in the back? There's Evian water in the back there. Yeah. Set design was always good in these movies. 58.9 is the atomic weight of cobalt. Remember that? Remember on Jeopardy? Keep that in mind and tell them Ghostbusters got you the answer. 58.9. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. It's almost like the sun he never had. <laughs> there we go. Nice. That must be really comfortable actually if you're a baby. Nice soft hoodie. <laughs> This is the kind of thing you do in your own apartment. <laughs> That's exactly what I do constantly. <laughs> Spoon up beside me. <laughs> I'm at the sofa. <laughs> She's not ready for that kind of commitment just yet. 
Everybody aged pretty well. I mean, they don't look too much older than they did in part one. In no. This movie. They, they look pretty... And it's been, it's been, a, it's been a total, like, an act, actual five years. Mm. This is great. A little finger wave. <laughs> mm. you like the fade in and out? Yeah. I have to wonder if what Sigourney Weaver got paid for this, because you know, Aliens was just a few years earlier, and she got the Oscar nomination for that, so... Did she? Yeah. Oh, wow. So her stature went up a bit, so I don't know if they... I don't know she got an got her big, I mean, I, I'm sure all these guys, especially Murray's page, like went up a bit on this. So, Let's see how much more this one cost. Oh wow! Uh, I, lo- I love the, uh, I love the uh, the background of Vigo here. <laughs> yeah, budget didn't go up too much. It was only thirty-seven million. They did a great job, man. In, in that, that those budgets, it's just to do what they did, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. <laughs> this is a great. <laughs> this is nice. I, I would do wish Peter was in the second the for us. <laughs> 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 Who's this Wiggler? <laughs> it's yours, right? Sick him. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ray. You know, Ray. It's funny because Ray's kind of a geek, mm-hmm. but he knows how to be a prick too, though. Ray yeah. can definitely be a prick as well. Mm-hmm. I love that. So why are you came? <laughs> <laughs> So. Where the hell are you from, man? Anyway? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Ugly do. Vigs. Yeah, that. What's creepy <laughs> later on when he when he gets these photos back? Mm-hmm. They're they're pretty, and then, and then they start. That, that that's the one real creepy scene. Yeah, with, it is pretty in creepy. The photo lab, yeah. Yeah, the photo lab scene when with all these photos are just creepy. Yeah. It is a menacing looking photo. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, the gas. <laughs> <laughs> that little slight <laughs> tinge in there. <laughs> <laughs> give it, yeah, give it. <laughs> I love this one. I feel like that's yeah, an ad lib too. Yeah, the, the, the entire whole bit with the, yeah, the, the photos it, yeah. is all right off the cuff. I was wondering what that stupid little gadget thing's supposed to do anyway. Yeah, I don't know. It's more random nonsense. It's just a bunch of stuff that just looks cool, yeah. you know? That's all. <laughs> yeah, you know, just, when, just when you watch the, it... Just look at all the junk he's got. Got a lot of, a lot of shit. Oh, no. This just is the best part. It may, you know, you're under the impression of, like, oh, my God, something happened to her? And then she cleaned. <laughs> she cleaned. Like, no. Oh, they, you know, they, they throw in a towel, <laughs> bra. <laughs> yeah. Try out some of your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rush, you probably... I, I like the shot of the in the back, the USA Today, like the frame oh. stuff of their, uh, some of their oh, successes. Okay. It's got the Time Magazine cover thing. <laughs> Those little details, man. I, I, really like, I really enjoy the set design. <laughs> Come to appreciate set design a lot yeah. more. He still tried with her like he tried with her in part yeah. one. That's the funny thing. It's a it's a well, cool. Well, part she's kind of warmed a little bit more. Well, she's warm. With, I mean, she with, knows with, him with now. this with this. Well, well, with all, all, she was a little resistant at first, but now that all this stuff has happened, and she can trust him and whatnot to an extent. So it's like eh, he's winning her over a little bit. So, oh yeah. I was wondering, what, what is that sticking out there? <laughs> All cheap moves. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, All, All new cheap moves. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. Now, is this one longer than the first one? Because it has a slower build. 
I think they're about the same length. Yeah. Right? First one's flow is just so much yeah, better. Yeah, this this one's very relaxed. Very relaxed. I mean, it's got its moment. It's got like its its peak moments, but yeah. it's um, it, it's it, the it's not a, as constant of a flow. Yeah, because uh, like we were saying with the first film, there there was a lot of those like long take type of things and the steady cam type of stuff, where the characters just keep moving through a scene and everything. This is much more kind of standard coverage. Yeah, master shot, kind of close ups, cut it in and whatnot. So it's like there's not as much physical movement in the whole thing yeah. to keep it feeling like there's energy going. Yeah, see, I <laughs> I think as a kid that this philosophy set got oh, yeah. of the many different layers of clean. Of clean. <laughs> you know, it's yes. now the hook and ladder sign that's there now yeah. above the... And that wasn't... They didn't show that in part no, one. No, But that's what it says on the original, on the actual building is mm. hook and ladder. She was such. A, she. I mean, she was the TV character, the, the cartoon character at this point. You know? Yeah, it's much more flashy. I mean, she became a lot flashier in this one than in the first yeah. movie. She was just more of a regular. I mean, that's the same haircut as in the cartoon too. They probably put a wig on her or something. I thought the cartoon she had short hair. Hmm. But just the animation of the time. character, you yeah. know, like the colors. She had yeah. more bright colors and stuff. Yeah. But she she's so good. Annie Potts is yeah. such a underrated actress. Get his head from the W two. <laughs> no honking at him. Yeah, see, this is this is mm -hmm. creepy. This is yeah. one of the creepier parts. Yeah. Though. Pretty nuts. Like, I remember seeing that and it was kind of freaky. Yeah. I just wanted to see how photos are developed in, in, with the water and darkroom thing. I just wonder how that works. I did take, like, a, a class like that in high school, so. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It was like 20 years ago. Real quick. Goes, different pizza. Yeah, want to get, get up some pizza? Thick or thin? And he goes, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love that. <laughs> Because they're definitely, I mean, that's a Ramus. Mm -hmm. I mean, plus uh, Ackroyd, too, with his Chicago yeah. connection. They yeah. know. That was, yeah. that was a nod. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this stuff is creepy. Yeah. I wish there was more of this in the film. Yeah. This See, this was odd. But yeah, it just sort of like... His power goes through the images of whatever you capture. Of yeah, them. That, that, that's a great concept that doesn't go any further than this. Yeah. In fact, I mean, they they get trapped in this whole thing, and they got this great music cue that comes yeah. in. This this was a nice thing because you you know the doors break and you thought it was yeah. something else. You know, you're like, oh man, what else is coming? But it was Winston. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. It's a, a really good scene there. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> They show up here. <laughs> I love like, it. The Sizzler was such a go-to. Oh yeah. Why was that in the eighties? That was like the Friday night date night spot. Yeah, but it was like it was like every eighties sitcom like would use that like yeah. we're going to the Sizzler. <laughs> you know, yeah. always like a, it was a tie-in like, like the safe. Yeah. Uh, in the safe like sitcoms. Yeah, stuff. I mean we 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 used to love. We had one there until like maybe like the mid nineties or so. Oh yeah. Just, so I, was think, a hit, I think man. there's a few of them left in the country, but nah, you're hard pressed to find one easy. I came across a Ponderosa also. Oh, a Ponderosa. Geez. There was a Ponderosa somewhere in Indiana that I found. <laughs> I, I took a picture of the sign. It was like it was like Slappy the Clown performing live <laughs> on Friday. Like <laughs> man, you know you're in a small town. Where there's a, a Ponderosa, and the highlight of the town is. <laughs> That Slappy the Clown is performing live at 8 p.m. on Friday night at the Ponderosa. <laughs> this is an interesting scene. Here. Yeah. The ghost train thing. But it was pretty cool. I'm glad Winston got some time here, though. That yeah. Was, like, Winston, I felt, it just really bummed me out that he didn't get enough time. I really always looked yeah. at him like an equal. I, th I don't think he was quite happy with his usage in the film at all. I mean, what's cool is, like, I look at it like... You're tied to the movie. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're probably got the smallest paycheck of the four of them. Yeah. He gets the least amount of screen time, and he's just as good of an actor. But think about it. If you're getting royalties from this franchise, oh, yeah. 
you're, you're, I mean, you're going to be doing, you're going to get something forever. Yeah. You know, you. I mean, it's a, it's such a hit movie. There's it, always going to be something yeah. you're going to get from it. And know? he's not like one of these guys like he, he he's kind of bitter about it, but he just no. milks it. He's very appreciative about all of it. He's very enjoyable about the whole franchise. Yeah. I always love that. Too. No. He was all happy. He's like, like Hello? oh <laughs> crap. <laughs> it, this was so goofy, like to this me. This is a little. I mean, they're all. Of, on, it's a little out of nowhere. They're all on sticks. Also, that's the part that like, bothered me. It's like, yeah, it's clearly like proppy. That's what I didn't like about yeah. it. Yeah, like it's clearly proppy. It's so yeah. stupid. It's like it's like something you buy at the Halloween yeah. store. It didn't make any. Film was, make, I, oddly enough, the film's a lot less focused on ghosts. Yeah, you're right. There's not a lot of ghosts in the film to like get to the montage. Sequence. Right, right. There, there are no ghosts really. It's more like monster. <laughs> yeah. Spirits and well, not really spirits. It's more like monster, like proppy monsters. Yeah. But I didn't like that. Like the sticks. I'm like, okay, it's supposed to look fake like this. It looks so terrible. Yeah. Like, like it, it literally is something you can buy at the Halloween store and you put yeah. it on, you know, that kind of thing. You know, what would have been nicer if they could have found some way to tie it more into, like, Vigo himself about what he did, his yeah, kind of yeah. history and everything of being this tyrannical butcher or whatnot, and have that kind of, have, like, his followers come yeah. up from the grave or something, you know? It, it was just such an, e it was such a proppy yeah. cash grab is what this was. Like, it's such an easy mm -hmm. layup of a cash grab. And yeah. It didn't have much to it, you know, that was yeah. the problem. They could have done more. Yeah, and I, I see why people like oh, don't like part two. It's because of that. I mean they 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 had the potential to do so much more if they spent time. Yeah, and they had five years in between it. You know, yeah, that thing that bothered me. <laughs> Where's Ray? Ray, Ray gets, his mm -hmm. name gets yelled out a lot in this movie, actually, yeah. I think about it. You know, later on down the line, too. Mm-hmm. What about the packs? Mm. But I do like, the set design was always great. Yeah. In movie. They, yeah. they did a great job yeah. depicting some cool little spots like yeah. this and... Yeah, that's pretty neat. I do, I do. I always did like this, like the, I like yeah. the tint of the color on the ceiling and stuff mm -hmm. too. You know, it's, mm -hmm. you know, the negative energy thing. Mm -hmm. I tied that in with New York. It's like everybody's pissed it's, off. It's a nice comedy tie-in yeah. type thing. It's, 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 it's it, again, it's it's cheesy though. You know, yeah. that's the problem with it. And then everybody being all happy at the end is what kind of like turns the tide in a yeah. weird way. But it's. It's a bit cheesy, you know. It's, yeah. it, it, it it definitely played into kids like, be nice or be mean, you know, yeah. like, things like that. And this is what happens. And yeah, it had a lot of that going on. Poor Winston, man. He got the train right. run over him, and now this. <laughs> there we go. She's really coming around now. Mm -hmm. I think I got a lot of my cheesy lines from Bill Murray. <laughs> I, think I, I watched the movie with my girlfriend recently. And she saw something. I forgot what it was. Something I grew up on. Some old mm -hmm. movie. And she's like, this is where you got all your, your cheesy comedy <laughs> from. Like, watching these kinds of movies growing up. I forgot what it was exactly. But it, it <laughs> kind of fit. Because I was... And things like, like Bill... I, I say... I would, like, I would say that line. She, the girl starts toasting me. And I'm like... <laughs> Talking about me, obviously. It's like I, I would put that into the moment. Much better than you realize. She's really coming around him. <laughs> you show how damaged he really is. <laughs> You're 2000. Mere 11 years after this. <laughs> he was. It was really. Uh, <laughs> we we had something here. Mm 
Janine was just was just horn dogging it. <laughs> yeah. She was ready. She was prime. <laughs> she was a cute little number though, you know. Yeah. That's the thing. She, she's a hot little hot little tamale in this movie. <laughs> Now you get to make out. Look, <laughs> 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 oh, my mom moved over. He's so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy. Okay. This is after a uh, little shop, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was a kid when he said Super Mario Brothers. The accent really... <laughs> but I was like, Mario? Why do I say Mario? <laughs> oh, there you go. There's, that's a... She, she's, she's in. <laughs> <laughs> God, like the slime. Slime oh. prop. It, it, is, it is like a sticky looking slime. Yeah. What would they use for that? What, what, what do you think they would be using there? Okay, why jelly? Maybe I don't know. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a odd. It's go time, man. Yeah, Egon has the <laughs> sense, you know. I mean, it's, it's slightly weird. All they do is like take off their jackets and just. Dropped it in, but their face is yeah. so covered with the slime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the less they have on is just like... I don't know. It's, a, it's a lot of cheap outs on this yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. I really... Like I said, watching it now more and more as an adult, it's just so many cheap outs. And, I, yeah. and it bothers me for such a great, great... When you have a part one that's so damn strong, you know? Yeah, and so sharp with the comedy is like... The, again, like I said, it's really loose here. It's loose, yeah. That's the thing. It's, it's not bad in any way. Yeah. But looking at it from an analytical eye, like we're we're doing a review, yeah. and looking at it a little more analytically for two guys who love the first one so much, it's it's just a lot of cheap outs. It, yeah. Imagine if they tightened up a lot of this area, yeah. right? If they they tightened up a lot of the loose ends, it could have been yeah. so much better. Even. Yeah. Think solidified of, the, the 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 foundation of the film and again made a little. Take away the whole like lawsuit type of thing, like we said before, and just kind of like saying, yeah. make it more more mysterious that all the supernatural stuff just vaporizing and all it's just coming back in. That could add in more mystery elements to the right. film. Like it could more it's coming, a, coming back in because of you know, what, maybe more of a foreboding sense in the whole films. Like or, it's been dried up for five years now. Something else is happening. Or, what the heck is going, going on? Or even better, like it started when that that painting got imported from Europe or whatever. Something and that brought something with it. That kind of thing. You know, it could have played could've off of had, that. I'm kind of thinking something, <clears throat> something else from another film or whatnot, but it could be like just like something like that, and something adverse happens yeah. when the the painting shows up, and yep. little things here and there add up. Yeah, it's, it, it just could have been so much more. It, yeah. it had a lot more potential. Here's our cameo of Bobby Brown, Mister. Uh, oh yeah, it is Bobby Brown, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot about that. Mister, I've done every drug in the world. Yeah, proton pack. Well, his song plays in the background. Is it his song? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pretty funny, Bobby Brown. I think so. He was yeah, so damn young at the time. Yeah. You know, he was a... Uh, or that band he was in, the group we New was Edition. In. Yeah. Well, you forget. Like, you think Bobby Brown's been around forever. He, he was like... He was making it when he was like 16 in New yeah. Edition. Can't be more than like 19, <laughs> 20 in that scene. That so looks like a wig on her. It just, it just I, th I think it is a wig. sit well. No, I think it is a wig. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't sit well on her. I believe it is a wig on her. Yeah. You can, you can kind of see it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they, they gimmicked her up more for the, for yeah. the sake of the cartoon with the reddish hair mm -hmm. and little bright colors. But yeah, I, yeah she, she's great. Let's see, I'm going to, while we're, I use that line to French bread. Every, every time I have French bread pizza, I think of her, her line. <laughs> Knocked right out. We'll look her up and see what she's been <laughs> in recently. It's been a while. I probably saw her in a law and order or something at some point, but. Yeah, I don't know much. Seems like they all do. Everybody's yeah. been. A, everybody's either been in a Law and Order or, or an NYPD Blue. Yeah, it seems like it launched everything. 
Let's see. She's got 101 film credits. She's, uh, oh, I guess she's Mima in the new Young Sheldon series that's on, mm. uh, what, CBS? It's, a, it's a, the prequel of the yeah, Big Bang Warner. Theory, yeah. yeah. So she's the mom, like, or a grandma or something on that. Mm. So she's done 12 episodes of that. I'm guessing that's okay. cast, you know, not okay. just cameo. Uh, so she's at least got sitcom going. Yeah. Movie wise, though, she did. She had a cameo in the 2016 Ghostbusters as the desk clerk. Mm-hmm. A couple episodes of Chicago Med. Here we go, Lenny. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm three days. Yeah. Got Lenny back on the screen. Yeah. It's obviously <laughs> completely changed now. Yeah, I like that. I like that. At least 50 percent of us voted for you in the last election. <laughs> well, out of four guys. <laughs> He's like, well, two of us didn't, because you screwed us. <laughs> Turned your back on us, Lenny. It's a repeat of the scene, you know, the same scene in part one. Yeah, it's the same. It's again, it's the same thing as like instead of they send, send, sending the jail, they send them to the psych wards. It's yeah. Like, again, it, again, it is kind of sad. It's like I mean, like they that it becomes so obvious what they did. They just kind of laid back and just like remapped out the first film and just yeah. laid over a new coat of paint. That's yeah, that's a good way to put it. I do, I do like. Uh, <laughs> like when Lenny walks in and he goes, what, a slumber party? <laughs> Three million. At the time. Yeah, I mean, New York has, what, a, 10 million now or something? Jeez. Three million. You have to build another island soon. Yeah. A lot of people leaving because uh, it's expensive out there now. Yeah. Both Chicago, too, for that matter. Yeah. No, oh, it was ten million. That be nice to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I love this line. Mm-hmm. It's just such a <laughs> typical New York line. Mm-hmm. People always think New Yorkers are assholes because of that. <laughs> so they're goddamn right to be jerks. <laughs> Slime Square. Times Slime Square. <laughs> Kurt Floyd was 89. He did a Wayne's World two years later. Yeah. That was a big one, right? And uh, was he... What else was he in? Mm. Uh, UH. Was he in UHF? No. What am I thinking of? Uh, he had another one in there. Another weird one in there somewhere. Yeah. He had a couple of good years. Not much, though. I mean, Kurt Floyd, he has some kind icon- of... The roles he has are iconic. Yeah. Ones. Great actor, though. I always <laughs> liked him. I believe we looked him up for something else one time for another group. Did we look him up for something? We had to come up yeah, on well, him. Well, he was in Noel's Bar. That's yeah, that's, what, that's when we looked him up, and I think we looked him up mm-hmm. for that. And... <laughs> I love this with a little <laughs> side count. Now you told me of this scourge. <laughs> Sodos, yes, I've heard all of this. He's like, <laughs> I've heard everything. It's... It's, cl- it's so clearly overdubbed. Yeah. Even even it's like... Because cause his, his footage is shot in slow motion, yeah. so they would have had to do it anyway. To yeah. Kind of... Kurt Froehl works a lot. <laughs> Take me forever to go back in his filmography. Yeah. He's, still, he's still going pretty yeah, slow? Like, yeah. Elliot Law for a little bit. Yeah, remember that... He was he was cast on L.A. Law, wasn't he? I think so. So big, this floating head <laughs> of Vigo. Guess he showed up in Red Heat with Arnold. Yeah, I remember that. This little spinny move here from Janos. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Look at that. I remember <laughs> Peter McNeil. I remember him on uh, Ally McBeal, yep. right? That's where he he did a he did a pretty good deal there. <laughs> She's like, get out of here. <laughs> this was an odd scene, like the uh, with the baby. Mm-hmm. I mean, this kid always had a, always like a snotty nose and like a ring around <laughs> yeah. his face. I don't know what was going on. Just orange nose. Yeah. 
constantly with a runny nose throughout this whole movie. Yeah. She was a little more subtle in this one too. Mm -hmm. Like she, you know, I mean, it didn't call for her character as much. I like the high yeah. C placement. You catch that? Hmm. The ecto cool. Well, it wasn't ecto cooler at the time. Uh -huh. They placed uh -huh. the high C in there. I did get. I did. Did you? You know, when they rebooted ecto cooler. Did you get any of those? <laughs> no, no. So no, I got two. I, a friend of mine bought me a twelve pack. I purposely haven't drank two of them. <laughs> They're still sitting in my fridge for about <laughs> a year and a half now. But man, they they were <laughs> just as good as I remember. <laughs> I don't know why they, they didn't. They never brought it back full time. It's still mm -hmm. a hit. You know, it's such a yeah. Throwback. People ended up kind of like reverse engineering the formula and started making their own. It's ba well, they came out and said it's basically the orange, orange one or whatever mm -hmm. with a touch of something. Or I mean, it's it's a basic flavor they already had. They yeah. just rebranded it as Ecto Cooler, and it was yeah. everybody wanted it to be green and stuff. Mm -hmm. This was a weird little thing here. Yeah, the effect wasn't great. I didn't like the float in. No. It wasn't, it wasn't, I noticed they cleaned it up slightly for the Blu-ray here. Tad bit. Tad, but it's, it's still a, a, a lousy, lousy, yeah. like, graphic. I mean, I like that it has the Yano's <laughs> face, but that was terrible. The arm. Yeah. Like, I yeah. hated, I always hated that. Like, the arm reach, like, you could have just come closer and taken mm -hmm. it. Like, the thing already flew in all the way. Yeah. Like, why, she, why stop in midair and right. then reach out? She yeah. wasn't going to stop it. Yeah. You know, like. It, I hated the arm part. I was it just mm -hmm. to this day bothers me. It just looks so, so goofy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that <laughs> the entire. <laughs> it's funny that nobody <laughs> believes him. It's like. They, you do realize, like five years prior, they proved all this. Yeah. Like they're not insane. They proved that they they vanquished a Sumerian demigod. Like the, everybody saw the proof. There were yeah. ghosts running around. They they're not nuts. Yeah. Which is again the the whole reboot thing is like they think you're all bullshit. You think they're all crap, whatnot, or goes back to Walter Peck and thing. They're using like noxious gas, nerve yeah. gas, or something. It, like I said, it's like. Everyone took a 180 at the end of the previous film and believe Walter Peck sailed toward like none of it actually yeah. happened. It was just a giant hallucination or something. And, and the reboot is, is even worse. There's no backstory at all mm. to any of it. Zero. Like even yeah. the big climax scene has no sense in it. It has no mm. sense out of like what came out of it. It's, it's, it, it got so weak. I mean, it, this movie honestly does rest on the first one. Yeah. Now this franchise, I mean, rests on the first movie 100%. Yeah. Part two is a nice little just like if you got nothing, you know, it's like a little nothing else to do. Nothing else to do, you'll watch it. But if if you gave me a choice to ever watch, I'd always go with the first yeah. one. Yeah. Without a without hesitation, it's the first one. Yeah. And that's what the good measure is. Mm -hmm. second, like I said, the second I don't mind it because it's nice to see the characters, it's gaggy, it's funny. Yeah. But it's no part it's one. It's not as engaging, it's not as sharp, it's not as, as it doesn't have as much energy to it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm curious, like, I, and I know this one, me, it's about being that we only have two to choose from, because I don't yeah. count the reboot. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everybody pretty much always chooses that first one. But mm -hmm. I'd be curious if anybody prefers this one over the first one. Hmm. That That's what get, will get me. Like, yeah. who, who does like this one better? Because if this one does have certain things. Yeah, I mean, McNichol here, I mean, he, like I said, he kind of makes the whole film. And honestly, if you think about it, even though Gozer was, like, the central enemy yeah. in the first one, it wasn't one. It was. It was one scene. One scene visible through, like, a, you know, like a yeah. catalyst type of thing, like the the, mm -hmm. the girl's body, which wasn't really goes or goes or spirit in the mm -hmm. girl's body thing, right? Any form you wanted to take, kind of thing. Yeah. At least here, you had the painting the whole movie through. Yeah. Yeah, you saw the central character. Yeah. And then the voice of the character throughout the whole mm -hmm. movie. You know, it was like. Yeah. Okay, we all we saw him all the way through, so we got kind of mm -hmm. got invested in the painting a little bit. Yeah. So that was a bonus in this movie that there was a central enemy. Yeah. Visible at mm -hmm. all times. Yeah, the other one was just like some, you know, it was here and there with, the, yeah. with establishing who they were and all mm -hmm. that. But even here, it's like, well, Vigo isn't that much of a threat for most of the film. No, but the presence of and it, there's not. I mean, they had they haven't gone off busting a ghost in how long in this film? They've been swimming around in slime for the yeah, last like the only hour. Ghost they busted was the courtroom scene. They busted the ghost, they had the montage, and there's been nothing since. Yeah. The montage, obviously thrown together, but like, yeah. for the sake of just showing that they're back in business. Yeah. But but 
the only action one you got was the mm -hmm. was the courtroom, which is yeah. a great scene. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. And you got th this is a wild this is a wild uh, montage here. Yeah. You got all this stuff coming. It's very similar to the first movie. Yeah. You know, with all the wacky when the random wheels coming. Yeah, out. when the containment unit explodes. This this was a popular one. Yeah. Popular gag. This is creepy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the weird one. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, the great part is when it runs away. Yeah. <sighs> That's an odd one. Yeah. <laughs> Some good prop work there. Yeah. Getting a the physical, this physical stuff is really nice. It holds up well. And that one's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Park bench was chasing <laughs> this, this one. This, I this, this is one. this is the good Look one. This guy's eyebrows, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in the background with the fucking sunglasses. Yeah. That's great. That tight <laughs> tag just arrived. Cheech Marin, too. Yeah, Cheech Marin. <laughs> An old cameo. Th this I liked. Yeah, this is good. The, the Titanic <laughs> arrival. Better late than that. That's good. And then back to the. <gasps> I did like that. The, the <laughs> Titanic arrival was unreal. <laughs> ben Stein there. Ben Stein's in the background. Yeah, right he, past there. Yeah, and there he got he, he got Bookman from the Seinfeld episode. Oh the yeah, li the library. Oh, yeah, remember yeah. that one? <laughs> this is so similar to the first. I mean, it's everything that you yeah, saw in the first yeah. movie. I I never realized how much of a formula this really followed yeah. until right now. I've seen this one a hundred times too. I didn't realize it. <laughs> With the exception of this part, I mean, yeah. like it was formulaic to hell. Yeah, I like that. I was spending an hour talking to Fear Hog Guardian on this thing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I never realized that was Juliana Margulies's his father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, 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 I would recall that they had the same name. I never put it together. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a great <laughs> weasel, though, Kurt Boyd. <laughs> such an awesome weasel. He's a big guy, too. You know, yeah. He's at least six, what, six, four. He's a big Probably. dude. And he's a, he's a perfect weasel. Mm -hmm. Like, when he's like cowering weasel, he was a big yeah. guy. Again, similar to the first one with the with the lights yeah. and all that, and the sky and the color change. Yeah. Huh? Again, with the, the first film, the ghost made a lot of sense because it's like a demigod coming through from another yeah. dimension. It's like again, none of the ghosts really seem to have anything to do with Vigo directly. Yeah. It's all just kind of like yeah, they're all kind of like just walking through the same door or something. Yeah, pretty much. They don't. One thing doesn't have anything directly to do with anything else. Yep. I always like this song. Yeah, this is Bobby Brown's song. This is Bobby Brown. Yeah, yeah, and a really they're kind of goofy music video with like a million cameos and whatnot. Oh and, yeah, and, and Chris good. Reeve shows up on like a bicycle or whatnot in in spandex. Yeah. <laughs> this was goofy too with the yeah. shell and all that. It just you know <laughs> I love the, I love the franchise yeah. as you know I love these guys. Mm -hmm. But man, this this one just really played too much. And, but here again, now point counterpoint here. Mm -hmm. In 1989, I'm eight years old watching it. I freaking loved every yeah. second of it. Yeah. You know? When he said Jello mold, <laughs> I yeah. was laughing my ass off in the theater. So there's room for Jello. Yeah, I laughed my ass <laughs> off at, at that in the theater. It popped big time. And you didn't think anything of it. You mm -hmm. thought you, yeah. you you didn't think twice about it. It's just when you get older, you think more. And yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it's your typical. Obviously, we're smarter and better than it now. So. Yeah. We're, be a little arrogant about it, but yeah. But uh, I mean, yeah, I, it it falls in the the regular trap of a sequel. It's like you really don't know what new to do with it. You don't. You, you, again, you're going formulaic from the first film, beat by beat. Uh, hit a bit of a reset button to get the characters back to zero again. As you, Pretty much. You don't know where to take them from the end of the first film into an arc again. It was like it, it, it's not easy. I, I mean, I, I will give them that kind of 
leeway that it's not easy to do that sort of thing. Yeah. I love how the door was just open the whole time. <laughs> she she's just not been doing anything. She didn't even try. Yeah. <laughs> she's pretty tough. Yeah. You know, she didn't even try. Yeah. But that, but that, but she's smart. She now she's kind of like, okay, well, she's gonna open the door for, her and she's gonna kind of play into it a little bit to try and get her son back. Yeah. Very similar to the, yeah. the roof scene. Yeah. What do you say in the first one? He says, "Let's cook." He says something else. Roast them, <laughs> the marshmallow yeah. man. Roast them. <laughs> That's a great or one. Aim for the flat top. Aim for the flat top, yeah. He had a lot of good lines about it. Yeah. I love all the, the mm -hmm. stupid crowds are just booing, though. Nah. Boo. Like, what are you, <laughs> fuck, bunch of fucking assholes? <laughs> booing. Oh, boo. You guys aren't as cool as I thought. <laughs> like, that. It just got so cheesy yeah. with this, you know? Like, Things so bad in the city. Oh, everything yeah. sucks. <laughs> it, it was very playing into New York City. If you think about it, this is very yeah, neat. yeah. Like it's just stereotype. A lot of stereotypes and and this this definitely is just right over the right over the top. Over the top. I mean, you the jump, Statue of Liberty thing. Jumping the shark as well. You know, as they say, like. I mean, this, this look, look at the logo. Yeah. The logo on their, their uniforms is, yeah. the, is the two logo. Like, yeah, it what doesn't do you, make any sense. What do you say, like, you're Ghostbusters, you are calling yourselves Ghostbusters 2 now? Like, yeah. second chapter now or whatever? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it just, it's so <laughs> yeah. overly marketed with yeah. the, to the kids. Which, well, like I said, the first one was like, it was just a design for the film's sake. Right. They, and just became a brilliant piece of marketing. But the two, it just, yeah. like, you guys are really playing into, it, like, trying to get me to buy the t-shirt, which yeah. I did in 89. I bought all the goddamn merch this oh, movie yeah. had to offer. Oh, yeah. Let's not, I'm not going to kid myself here. Mm -hmm. I bought every piece of shit that this movie put out, and I spent a lot of my yeah. parents' money on that. And, no. and the first one, but this one, yeah. I sure did. It got me. I was, you know, I, I was prime mm -hmm. age to go to, if mm -hmm. anyone remembers, a chain called Venture. Yes, <laughs> the black and white stripes. The black and white, the zebra stripe store venture mm -hmm. was the spot. Mm -hmm. That or Toys R Us, but if you didn't have a Toys R Us near you, there was a venture for sure. Mm -hmm. If anyway of listening, venture was Target before Target. Yes. Because <laughs> side note here, while they're sliming the statue, I think venture came out in the midst of Kmart success, right? So yeah. Venture was like the alternative guy mm -hmm. who came out. And was yeah. Like, These guys are cool. So basically, the way Target has a bullseye now mm -hmm. as their thing, Venture had stripes. Yeah, and that was the spot, man. Action figures were four ninety nine back in the day. <laughs> Go to Target now; action figures are twenty bucks. Yeah, four ninety nine back in the eighties. Oh. <laughs> I was watching some of the features on the first film about the special effects, and apparently, they originally wanted to have the Marshmallow Man coming up out of the river. Yeah, that's stupid. A wet marshmallow that would have made no the sense. That's probably why they did this in this film, and they had essentially come off river. and see it walking through the river yeah. and come up on shore. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, in fact, they could not do even the river. The she's going battle. through ocean there. That that's that's not even. Yeah. Yeah, that's like that's in the middle. That's yeah. in water. Yeah. But yeah, you know what you mean. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I guess, but what if it's been stupid if it's yeah. the Marshmallow Man? Yeah. It was, I think it was way more iconic with the Marshmallow Man coming around the corner yeah. with the thumps. Yeah. A very, very, very yeah. Jurassic Parkish type of feel. Yeah. Thumbs. <laughs> the fact that they're controlling this with a NES Advantage uh, did they controller. Did they show it or did they take it out? The, huh? NES, the NES controller. Yeah, they showed they it. They showed already. it. Okay, yeah. I missed it Yeah, I remember as a kid that that was an awesome little. Spot I never had time. it. Sadly, I, I just I just had the basic system with the yeah. two controllers. I and never the had that either, but it was cool to see it. You know, you're thinking, yeah. whoa. I mean, the fact that they, the goddamn legs came off the fucking, <laughs> yeah. the fucking platform. <laughs> is, at least this is nice. They just saw the Titanic come up. Now they're seeing the Statue of Liberty coming over. Oh, I see what that... See, I always wonder why they, they threw that back <laughs> in. Oh, because they're, they're staring at the water. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. I, I just caught I, that. I do not believe that Spangler's outfit fits Rick Moranis. Yeah. He's like a foot taller than him. Yeah, it's true. The dramatic kiss was great. <laughs> oh, and he's got some balls <laughs> now, you know. Apparently there was supposed there was a deleted subplot where like Slimer was kind of like haunting the entire firehouse and whatnot and and uh, 
Lewis was kept, kept running her into him. Oh, really? There's like one oh, shot yeah, in the yeah. montage sequence there and is. nothing else, and then they have the, the tag with him at the the, uh, in the bus. That's right. The rest of it, they cut out of the film. This this is so... I, I, man. I mean, it's goofy. Yeah, another big mo- yeah. big thing walking down the street, mm-hmm. just like you did back you know, the Marshmallow yeah. Man. This time, it's on yeah. their on their end. Yeah. You know, you know, if I saw the statue of Liberty walking down the street, I'd freak the hell yeah. out. <laughs> and so, what is... The fact that, like, they're controlling I'm not even her. sure the scale is right, honestly. You'd know better than I would. It's pretty big. I mean, this... Eh, when they show up, I guess it might be okay. <laughs> it's so weird, though. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. It's just such a wacky... Yeah, this, this scale's pretty cool. Yeah. I know they let you they still let you go in the head. I've never been in the mm-hmm. head. Um, I didn't go inside. I went to the island though, but mm. I uh, they, they only had a certain amount of people up in the head nowadays. Mm. Um, but like yeah, just for like you know they don't want to wear it out or something. Mm-hmm. I forgot what it is, but yeah, I'd like to you know next time I go I'd like to try going getting inside. Mm-hmm. But I've, I've I've been to the island. Should take a picture. I, I took a picture with the damn thing though. Mm. And now it's easier to take pictures with our cell phones. That's the difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this. Again, thrown in there because of the cartoon. Yeah. I do like the Lewis taking the bus. <laughs> it's just fantastic. <laughs> he just jumps on the freaking bus. <laughs> it's funny to see in '89 <laughs> the the way um, Dana's dressed. It's funny how. It's like that fashion's come around. Girls are dressing like that now. <laughs> like, it, they're, like it, they're dressing <laughs> exactly like this now. <laughs> you see it all the time. Like the, the fashion just comes back. Like <laughs> those boots, that whole look, it's like st- <laughs> in again. Interrupted the <laughs> possession. There we go. <laughs> we dropped the hammer on her. Uh. That that was done pretty cool. Yeah, that that looked pretty good up there, like the way they did that. They made it more grand, you know. Like yeah. A lot of the actions are more grand. I mean, they. <laughs> He's vegan. <laughs> oh. I do like that Vigo came out of the painting, though. Yeah. Hose him. Hose him. You know, he's always got some line about <laughs> shooting the, mm. the packs. <laughs> Hose him. <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> the way he says on the ground is crazy. On the ground. <laughs> I never caught that line. There we go. Yeah. Never caught the end of the accident too. Yeah, it, yeah. I was, what I was saying earlier, I liked that the that he came out of the the painting, mm-hmm. and, and it just stayed in the painting and had been like shenanigans from the painting. Yeah. It would have been wacky. It, yeah. it would have been a little too. You needed to you needed to embody mm-hmm. that character. I needed yeah. to see him walk around and. Mm-hmm touch these guys and then look at them and stuff like that for I mean for the whole movie when you're watching it the first mm-hmm. time you're you're under the impression that he's not going to come out of that thing yeah and you're thinking it's just a haunted painting and he mm-hmm. you know 3D's and you know life size inside the painting like when he had the head floating yeah. head and all that but there we go mm-hmm. the, the the weird like uh, weird like trail effect was strange mm-hmm. didn't really didn't really make sense it's like could have done a better job with it. Yeah. Could have done more like a strobing type of thing instead of just like double image type yeah. of thing. Yeah. I didn't like the double. I didn't like the, the, the trailing image. Yeah. He's got a great look though. Yeah. I mean, he's a big dude. Mm-hmm. Movements are pretty cool. Wrist. <laughs> Doop. <laughs> <laughs> That's on par of like, you know, if someone asks you if you're a god, you say yeah. yes. 
I'm fine. <laughs> You really need magical powers to just move. <laughs> he can just move to himself <laughs> with his hands. That smirk is great, mm -hmm. though. Big dude, though, man. Mm -hmm. Got at least six five, six six on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I do like, like I said, I do like that he came to life. That was yeah. a big part of this this movie. What made yeah. it a little more realistic for yeah. me that they came to life here. Yeah. I needed to see something like this. Yeah. It would have been nice if they did something more with him here. Cause yeah. Again, again, flashing back to like a, a big trouble little China thing where you got like a lot of magical powers yeah, going yeah. on. We would like to see something a little bit more involved there. Yeah, instead of like what he does, what he's about to do he right now. Kinda, almost kind of just paralyzes him and just yeah, well, does nothing much I, else. I mean, they build you up earlier in the movie how he's sadistic and he's like, yeah. he's like a mountain of skull. Yeah. And he was this evil. He was, he's been... He was beheaded and shot and stabbed. And all. I mean, it's yeah. like that. I mean, that's about all they get. Yeah, like a, par a paralysis yeah. beam. And and there was a magician and everything too. So it's yeah. like you don't get it. You don't get much potential out of that. Yeah. The gruesome looking dude. <laughs> The, the, the statue fell <laughs> Just over. fell over. It's got a very, uh, you know, Plan of the Apes thing going on yeah. there, right? The first thing I thought when I saw that, I was like, <laughs> Plan of the Apes sitting yep. situation. It Blew like, it up. It was Earth the whole time. <laughs> Damn you! You made it you blew it up. The scene, I mean, like that whole, mm. like, the good people... <laughs> So yeah, weird. it's so wacky. <laughs> yeah. But you know what saves it, and I, like as I'm, I'm not here to hate on it. I just, yeah. But the fact that the characters are so lovable, the four of yeah. them, that that kind of anchors you back. You yeah. Know, as silly as it's become, yeah. The characters being so likable mm -hmm. keeps you grounded on like, all right, you know, it's yeah. not as bad as <laughs> you know. Mm hmm. This was weird. Mm hmm I think there was supposed to be a little bit more of this in the film of, of Ray being kind of showing like weird signs of well, yeah, of this this possession type of Well yeah, it's thing. been like an hour. That's the thing. It's yeah. been like I mean an hour into the yeah. movie and it's been a few days. And I never figure what these red horn things are on his head when he changes here. It just looked weird. You never caught that before. Yeah. But but like it's been you know, a few days worth of stuff, and he's been possessed for a little bit. Like, nothing else has peaked out. Yeah, you know? I think there was supposed to be, like, a sequence where Ray is driving Ecto-1, and he kind of just starts losing control of whatnot. He kind of drives erratically. I think they cut so much out just to there, keep there, it very kid-friendly. There, kid is, there is a lot of stuff they cut out of this. Just, just for the kid-friendly aspect, though, yeah. I think they had to. Because I think, I think a tad bit of that driving sequence got into the montage again. So, I mean, yeah. it seems like everything they cut out, you just slap a little bit in the montage. I mean, by waste of footage, right? I mean, you would know yeah. better than anybody. Like, you got it on tape. But, I mean, I mean just... if you're going to have that in the climax, it would be nice to, to keep that thread in there someplace. Yeah, why not, you know? I always, I always wondered if, like... I know some, I've seen some movies do where they just add in the scenes. Yeah. Like, some releases have done it where they just yeah. put in the scenes that they took out and they make them make sense. Mm -hmm. But that involves, like... The production company, I'm yeah. sure, giving the green light. Yeah. Giving them, they got to pay somebody to do it then. Yeah. I mean, you're essentially re-editing the movie at that yeah, point. Yeah, you got to pay for a new editor and new, got to mix the sound for that and all but that would, type of stuff and master think, it. This franchise has made enough money that it, you would think the studio's like, yeah, why not? Let's make some, let's milk it a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, extended cut or something, you know. Reitman's still around if you wanted to do something like that. I mean, I don't know. I guess there's a director permission you need to right the director to kind of say all right uh, i'll work on it and, not always it all depends right. on the contracts yeah some people are giving a final cut and then where cut they turn in that's the one you got to release but what well, isn't there like some hollywood thing like, like i know american history x is the first movie that comes to mind where mm. like the director hated the final cut so much yeah. he has name removed from the movie you can do that under certain circumstances but the guild has to approve that all that shit and then so. they put it under like a general name right or it something it used to be Alan Smithy but that became so well known that they just stopped yeah. doing that and I, th I don't know if they have a different type of pseudonym or a different process for that or something right now 
Yeah, I remember there, that, that was the one movie I always heard about that the director hated the cut so much mm -hmm. they removed his name from yeah. it. Yeah. This was so goofy. <laughs> this. Yeah. It was just like, what the hell is this? Yeah. Like, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> it was just so, it was just like, yeah. as an adult, that bothers me. <laughs> yeah. It is, it is a much lighter, goofier, it, looser film. It's for the cartoon together. crowd. Yeah. yeah. The cartoon still ran for another two years after this, you know. Yeah. I picture it that way. They, they, if, if they went against, is the mayor right there? Where did he come yeah, from? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. If the, you know, if they, they went too serious, the kids might have been off the te off the cartoon. It was making so yeah. much money. The toys, you remember the toys, like the toy yeah. lineup was insane. Yeah. In this, I mean, it, there was there was a new, you recall this, the action, mm -hmm. you had the original action figure set, and then they put them out with those costumes, then they put them out with like street clothes costumes, <laughs> oh, and like special edition costumes. Oh, yeah. They marketed the four of them hundred times over. Oh, that, that's what they end up doing, like Batman toy lines and whatnot. Like, yeah, there's yeah. 50 the Ninja different Turtle ones outfits too. that never showed up in the films or anything. They, they had, like, the Ninja Turtle Hawaiian shirt line. Like, all the same turtles wearing, like, Hawaiian <laughs> shirts at one point. Yeah. Like, it just, they did and, it all the time. And you know? see, oh, this, this is a whole bunch of, like, cut scenes and footage and whatnot they're yeah. using for, all the, for a lot of these things. Yeah, he came around. <laughs> like, I got child. no job now. Who cares? <laughs> some of these scenes wouldn't have made sense anyway if you had yeah. them in there I mean they're just like some they might have shot specifically for this but other stuff yeah. seems like it would just like cut here and there so they named him Slimer yeah. officially here right you know yeah. like, well they did in the cartoon mm -hmm. but they they, had, yeah. they they couldn't call him Onion Head all the kids yeah, would have yeah, been like yeah. what the hell's going on yeah yeah that was funny <laughs> <laughs> And this is probably like an outtake. Yeah. <laughs> I like this stuff here. Thank you, Ghostbusters. The two logo. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. Was that the USS Intrepid? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was Liberty Island. Yeah, statue's back. Back in place. Yeah, yeah. How'd they get it off that big platform? <laughs> and the torch is back. It's, it looks like it's back intact now. Yeah, everything's, everything's good to go. <laughs> Like it never happened. <laughs> it is. A, it is an icon. I'll tell you about. You flying into New York City, mm -hmm. and you're low enough that you're going to the airport. And you mm -hmm. see that thing. Mm -hmm. There's something magical about seeing uh -huh. that damn statue in the middle of the water, mm -hmm. and you just see it out there. You're like, what the hell? Like mm -hmm. it, it is a real. I can imagine if you were an immigrant coming in on a boat. You know, oh, yeah. hundred years ago, hundred fifty years ago in the year, whatever it was, and you know, you you see that symbol, <laughs> and you're called the Statue of Liberty. I mean, it is like. It's like hope. You even I'm telling you, even it even gets you as, mm -hmm. as somebody sees it. You fly and you like, it's it's this ominous figure out there, and you're like, man, yeah. what is that thing? Jeez. It is pretty neat. It is pretty cool to see. I got I gotta say, it's uh, it's pretty pretty awesome. Nice. You get the sound. I had the soundtrack for part two. No, I didn't have part one. No, I always I only got the Bobby Brown song off of this one. I did have the soundtrack part two on... Because... I got from the dollar store, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not like, too long after. I mean, you can see the change in even pop music now. It's like it's all kind of like... It's more rap R&B, hip-hop type of stuff. Yeah. I mean, it was, the, it was very with the synth times. pop stuff in the first film. Yeah. It was more like, I mean, 89, this, this dancey kind of hip-hop was saying, you know, yeah, yeah, MC yeah. Hammer and Bobby Brown type of like... You know, not, not the gangster rap. It was, like, yeah, yeah. it was like the fun pop rap, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's the stuff... Yeah, I mean... Out, kids like us were listening to at the time. Yeah. All this kind of fun stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's so interesting. I mean, with this film, they, they had a different composer in the film. They have a different cinematographer in the film. It's like all these little things contribute to how the film just feels generally different. It's interesting because it's same. Per it's a Columbia movie, too. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. So New York City crew. Now, there's another city here involved? Let's mm. see. They make sure to point out New York City crew. I'm wondering mm. if there was another city... For filming here, I didn't mm. think so. Let's see. Not that I was aware of. Let's see if they show it. I mean, it could just be like so maybe they shot like Jersey or something. Second unit, or maybe just yeah. You know. No, maybe not. Maybe just calling it out so they. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Like you know, visual effects. Yeah, industrial light and magic. Yeah. 
Lucasfilm. Oh, they're owned by yeah. Lucasfilm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I expected, I expected better. If it's a yeah, because I mean, I, I talk so much about how good the effects were in the first one. It's like there's nothing that really dazzles with this one. It's weird. And I mean, you get one... so so few sequences of anything. It's like again, we have the the courtroom sequence. You have a few minor things in the, the montage, but not much. Now, how come the the guy from the first one, his name, what was his name again? Which one? The special effects guy from the first one, Richard Edlund. Richard Edlund. How come they didn't use him for this? They went with that industrial. I don't light. know. I have no idea. Because I thought he was way better. Yeah. And he had a private. He was a one. He was a one man show. This, I mean, he set up for the movie and all that. But yeah. Well, he, yeah. I mean, he had his own crew and everything put together from the ground up and everything. But how about that credit? Bathroom trainer and bath or bathtub trainer, or bathtub wrangler. <laughs> That's weird. That's pretty funny. River rats. <laughs> River rats. <laughs> Plus two hundred other artists and technicians. I wow. They, Jeez. Two hundred. That's what they should do now. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> But the credits about I, five I, minutes shorter. I think nowadays I just put the the production. The, the wall of names, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Ray Parker did everything. Yeah, that one. it wasn't just a studio production. Yeah. Run DMC remix. Yeah. Didn't really care. For, didn't really care for the remix. The Run no, DMC I didn't version I didn't, didn't, didn't catch on. Glenn Fry's on this. Jackie Glenn Fry, on. that's nice. All right, higher remix here. Yeah. Flesh and blood. Dougie Fresh. Danny Elfman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Boingo Boingo. <laughs> Bobby Brown, man, he really did a... He weaseled his way onto it, too. And he gets a... He got a freaking uh, SAG card, I'm sure, for that, right? For that line? Mm, maybe. Because he gets... What, two lines gets you a SAG card, you, doesn't it? You got you to gotta pay him more if they're going to say something, yeah. Yeah. It's regulations. And it's like two two lines qualifies you, apparently, from what I remember he hearing about mm -hmm. it. It's like... Two lines get allows you to apply and get okay. or something. And I remember hearing that from uh, one of the guys who was on Entourage. Mm. Apparently, uh, he was trying like hell to get in on something. And the director really liked him. He did a cameo on Bo or scene on Boy Meets World or something. Oh, okay. and, and the director really liked him. He was just trying to get that SAG card. And the guy's like <laughs> writing a couple lines for this kid. And he got this two lines. <laughs> that was his. That was his like SAG, you know. In that's what Bobby Brown is a SAG card. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor's Tony. Yeah, a lot of little, uh... There's Cheech's credit. Cheech Marin. He was really low. He wasn't doing shit at the time. Not much. Brian Doyle Murray. They threw in his brother on this one. <laughs> Psych Who was a psychiatrist? Oh, yeah, that was him. Brian Doyle Murray is Bill Murray's brother. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, and he, in he the was, psych ward thing. the psych ward. He was, yeah. the guy, he was the doctor. Okay, yeah. Also, you know, he was, in, he was uh, also in Wayne's World. Brian Doyle Murray, he's the okay. guy... He's the guy who comes on when when Wayne's World's overproduced, and he comes on, and mm. he's the guy talking about who created Pong or, or Noah's Arcade guy. Remember that guy? <laughs> okay, that was Brian Tom Murray also. <laughs> <laughs> he finds a way to get his brothers in on these movies. He did it for Scrooge. He had all three of okay, them on yeah. Scrooge. Yeah. Based on the characters created by Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis, <laughs> with pride. Yep. Great characters. Yeah. That was. A beautiful Columbia Pictures presentation. <laughs> Last name credit, Ivan Reitman. Mm -hmm. He's one of the most underrated directors. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for joining us for Ghostbusters 2. Uh, we'd like to hear what you guys thought about the film and anything we brought up in the commentary. Yeah, we were a little critical on this one, so definitely let us know if we were wrong. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks for listening. Take care. See you next time. Bye.